So today I've talked about a Honda with a P1167 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P1167 code? Well, it's an air fuel ratio sensor one heater system malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors that are located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And then they also have heater elements built into them. And this does a few things. It helps the system go into what's called a closed loop faster and the heater elements also monitor the catalytic converter since when it starts to heat up too much it's a sign that it's failing and the onboard computer seeing a problem with this so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why and some possible causes well it could be a bad sensor could be in the wiring could be a blown fuse and it might be an exhaust leak so be sure to pay attention to that if you have an exhaust leak and can throw these sensors off and so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the sensor one oxygen sensor and the sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor it's going to be located before the catalytic converter and sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter it's going to be called the downstream and there can be some differences on how they're laid out and where they're located and sometimes there's two sometimes there's four so it's going to vary it's going to depend on the honda and the year and the engine for example here's a 2012 honda odyssey and so it's always a good idea if you could get a diagram like this for your particular honda it just makes it easier to know where they're located and what's going on but the first thing to do is go locate where these sensors are and then the next thing to do is to check out the wiring be sure that it all looks good, everything's connected. Basically keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also keep in mind that these are gonna be on a fuse. Fuse box is usually inside the engine compartment, although it can vary, it's usually inside the engine compartment. They can be a little bit vague on which fuse they are sometimes. For example, here's a 2013 Kia Optima, and this sensor one would be the downstream O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor, this would be the sensor for it. And sometimes there's also a relay, so keep that in mind. And so if you check that all out, that all looks good. You got no blown fuses, the wiring all looks good. And very likely that sensor has just failed. It just needs to be replaced. You can test the heater element side of them with the multimeter. And basically what's going on with these is that the same wires with the same color, like these two white wires, that would be for the heater element. And then the mismatch wires would be for the oxygen sensor side. And you basically just check the heater element for content Continuity. You can't get the rated ohms for that particular sensor, but as long as it's getting continuity, then it's usually good. It's kind of like a light bulb. If it blows out, then it's bad. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these, and testing the heater element side is fairly simple. So the next thing to do would be go around and test the O2 sensors to see if any of them fail or replace them. One thing to mention is that sometimes you need this special tool to get them in and out. Not all the time. Sometimes you can get on them with an open end wrench, but sometimes they are recessed down in there into the exhaust, and you need this special tool to get them out and get them back in again it's going to vary but go and look at it because you might need this special tool to get them out and get them back in and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a video on how you go about fixing a honda with the p1167 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day